Why is it important to wear your name tag when you're at business events? This is Reed Mahako from readaboutsex.com. Kathy Vatuli from theintimacydojo.com. And when we got the green shirt on for Sex Geek Summer Camp, this is a business advice video for sex educators, sex positive entrepreneurs, etc. Et so why is it important to wear your name tag, Kathy? It is important. Um, it is important. Do you Why? remember that tall, goofy guy? Um, what was his name? He had a great website. The one without the uh, the name tag. Yeah. I really want to go to his site, but I can't remember him anymore. Yeah, too bad he wasn't wearing his name tag. Um, or it might be that you just someone wants to come up and talk to you and they're embarrassed because they've asked your name a few times. I'm horrible with names, mm -hmm. if you haven't already figured this out, uh, internet. And so name tags save my ass. The only thing that's embarrassing is it always, I'm, a, I'm afraid because when you're wearing it on a lanyard, you think I'm staring at your boobs. Yeah. So part of the reason we go to business uh, business work meetings or events is to network and build connection with people. Um, and I know for myself, there's been many times when I've like met someone once and I can't remember their name. They're not wearing their name tag, and I just don't go up and talk to them. I go off over and talk to somebody else. So there's a little bit less interaction. And then also I'm talking, I can't remember later. Or if we take photos together, if the name tag's in there, I've got a nice... Yeah. I've actually started having people, like when we do you pictures, hold them up, yeah. they, we do one where you hold up your name tag so that I can then have your face and your mm -hmm. name. But that's me. I'm silly like that. Yeah. But it really does help. And especially if you're shy and introverted like I am, um, anything I can do to help people approach me is good mm -hmm. and having a name tag helps them like hey Kathy they feel suave and together they don't feel awkward or they're not trying to talk to you and if you say something really impressive they can't like I've done this someone says something really cool and I'm like all of a sudden more like wow they've got my attention I'll look down at their name tag and go oh I need to remember that it anchors it for yeah. me um, so I really think it's important and it's important to do this throughout the business event I see a lot of people they'll wear them great the first day and the last day they're not wearing them or like the third day they stop mm -hmm. um, and Wearing them helps people Connect and remember you better and that is so key giving them a business card. They go. Oh put it in their pocket the name tag it, wherever you know wherever it's hanging is a way for them to associate your face your words your energy with who you are and your and your business and i always like to put my website on it even if the if the event runner doesn't the person running the event just puts the name i try to put my uh, website below it to anchor that as well another thing you might want to do a little little interesting <clears throat> as somebody who goes to a lot of conferences and, and events um, one as a facilitator you may want to consider having <laughs> you know, little name tags, uh, even if it's just handwritten ones as people come in. Because for a lot of people, they're kind of, they're silly, but they're playful. Mm -hmm. um, and you could also model that they write their name and then okay. ask me about blank. Right. Um, so then it becomes kind of a mingling game. Yeah. And the other hack that I've done, and I, uh, you, you can put your pronouns on those as well, especially in the sex ed world, you know, knowing that you use he and his or she and, they, and they. her, or they, them, or Z and, and Zay, Zer. Um, again, like it's, you can use your name tags for good, never for evil. Other hacks, lanyard hacks. Um, Both sides. Yeah, for facilitators, if you, if you have the funds to print badges that have names on both sides, you don't have that annoying, it's always, it's always flipped to the wrong side, folks. It's always flipped. It's a roll. So what I will sometimes do is um, I'll write my name on the other side or I'll put my business cards on the other side that also have my, uh, my name's pretty, you know, you can read it from, up, uh, from a little bit far away. But again, you know, you figure out your own ways of upgrading those systems mm -hmm. so that you can take more advantage of the things that you mentioned yeah and if you do have a lanyard with names on both sides i put my business cards in between mm -hmm. so they don't block one side because the more you can anchor with people um because i'm not a, an extrovert like reed is people will usually remember him the first time he's like this big bouncy fun guy i'm quieter um i need people to get to know me more gradually like i have i make an impression i think over time more and the more you can do that, the more you can use the time to introduce, you're introduced to people um, and help them anchor who you are, the faster you're going to get known and the better impact you can have on your business mm -hmm. and on the world. Hope this video is helpful. What are some interesting name tag hacks you have yes. to suggest? Mm -hmm. 
Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. <laughs> and please subscribe to this channel there <laughs> if you'd like to see more Goofy reading Kathy. There's more videos there. I didn't see them. Why are they there?